I don't know why I tried to walk her back here with slides on. This was a mistake. Oh my God, she's really taking me through the snow. You know what? It's fine, it's fine. I'm just gonna change my socks when I go inside. You know, a part of me feels like because she's still a baby, she's just too excited to see the snow because I think this is her first time seeing it. She might not even go to the bathroom, so I might just be aimlessly walking out here forever. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Oh, she's going. Today we're changing out the transmission mount on my car because mine is pretty bad. And I have a group end, like solid mount to replace it with. So first order of business, grab the chopping block or whatever the fuck this thing is called. Put it behind that rear wheel. And then we gonna jack it up and get to work. It's pretty easy. This isn't that hard of a thing to do. It's just cold outside. And I'm lazy. super easy install the only thing i'm really worried about is i have a northeastern car and the rust and just like shit being difficult to get out that's it <laughs> but it's pretty straightforward i already have a parent pitch stop mount in there which i put in there maybe like two years ago and it's been pretty good so i think this will definitely help a lot I couldn't find a half inch 14, so we're gonna be using a 3 ace, some ingenuity, and um, my jack handle. This is gonna be dope. What we're taking care of is this ugly thing right here, if you guys can see, like uh, this, this thing. This is getting taken out. But this cross member is probably gonna have to come down or come off for us to get to that. I cracked two of those bolts and I could definitely do the rest, but I need a longer 14. And to be honest, I can't find one. So I'm about to just go bite the bullet and grab another one. So I'm about to just go use my dad's car. Go to advance, grab another fucking 14. Ow, that hurt. I'm like 90% sure I just forgot my wallet, but I'm already moving. I know the house is right there. I'm just not gonna walk back in. So I hope they take Apple Pay. Advance Auto Parts did not have the fucking socket I needed. So we're gonna check like Home Depot or something like that see if maybe they have it because it's only a 14 i need they had a 14 but it was a 12 point and god knows we're not using a 12 point on my rusty car so i just i just need a regular regular six point half inch 14. after i finish installing this mount i'm gonna go for a little drive take you guys with me i'm not expecting like a drastic change i'm just expecting it to feel a little bit better and like easier to shift maybe and like less punishable when i do bad shifts which isn't often but like you know and then next video probably we're gonna be doing wheel bearings. I honestly, I ordered the ABS tone rings for them, which I should have ordered a while ago, but I've just been procrastinating. I don't know if I got like a faulty tracking number or what, but like it, it's had like a pre-shipping label made for like four days. So I have no idea where it is. It could be on its way. It could have never been shipped out. I don't even know. And also on Tuesday, I'm going back to Sam's shop to continue getting the body work done because I didn't forget about it. I'm not gonna let it slide this time. All we're pretty much doing is just trying to get the body to look nice right now. I'm not so sure about like the rear like over fenders that I got. They're cool and all, but I'm not sure if they're the best quality. So I'm probably going to shop around for other options or might even just hold off on it completely. But that's going to get done tomorrow too. So I got some stuff to record for you guys. It's just a matter of getting it all done. That's all. All right. Yes, I went out in slides. Y'all can judge me if you want. Vegeta and Goku. Leave me alone. Ooh, not the little Del Sol. Okay. Mm, oh, right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. These are all three eighths of half in, bruh. The one I would need, the one I would need <laughs> would be stolen. Dang, now I find myself in quite the predicament. Not really, I, I mean, I can just go back home and work with what I have. I was just trying to be smarter here and be a little bit lazy. <laughs> I kind of forgot to start recording for you guys, but got the, uh, old mount pretty much out. I just gotta pull it out real quick. Old mount along with the cross member and everything right here. So now we're gonna take this old ugly shit out, put this new one in, and then just reverse everything we just did. You need 14s and 18s for this. Preferably deep sockets make your life a lot easier. All right, I brought the cross member inside and literally all you gotta do is just take these two bolts off right here, which should be easy, um, but for me, obviously not. The only thing I'd be worried about for this install is something breaking or just being old because I, I have a Northeastern North car. car. And this is best case scenario, you know, this snapped, so like it'll just pop right out and I can replace it, 
This one, on the other hand, rounded, which is kind of annoying. I don't have the extractor bits, so I'm gonna try to figure out how to get this off. But this is the only thing stopping me right now from taking this old crusty dusty mount out and putting the new one in. All right, I can't find the extractor bits. I honestly don't feel like going out and grabbing them today. And it's not that big of a deal. I don't have anything to do tomorrow, so that can just stay like that. But literally, the only thing holding us back is just that one bolt right there, which is normally how it goes. But as to why I'm doing this in the first place, look at this crusty, super not stable transmission mount. That thing is not doing its job at all. It makes sense, and I understand what I've been feeling now whenever I shift most of the time, versus this one, which is so much better, so much more sturdy. The material that it's made out of is like all one solid piece. Garbage, super not garbage. After three days of waiting and already ordering a part that's still on the way, I totally forgot that I could have just asked Cameron or literally anybody else in the friend group because we all have the same fucking car. I ended up going over there and they had a spare one for me. So I just grabbed that, put the new mount on, and this thing, trash, garbage, bunzo beans, terrible. So thank God that we have an entire new one. We're gonna go throw that on real quick and, um, then we'll go for a drive. Good morning again. It's a whole other day, but let's finish this up now. Transmission mount is on. Everything ran fine and dandy. Nothing fell out. I just drove to the car wash because I do need to wash my car. It's been very salty and disgusting up here and I haven't actually taken care of it. I recorded the drive over here, but that footage sucked. So I'm not gonna use it. So enjoy the car wash. Maybe a piece of shit, but it's my piece of shit. And now it's clean as fuck. vacuuming i definitely pulled my uh shift boot out i was trying to put it back in and broke my shifter bezel so now i gotta get a new one of those no biggie it's just like damn i don't think i said this already but off rip i mean there's just less uh less shaking less vibration like normally when i like when i'm on the clutch right now just on the clutch it feels like the whole car wants to like <laughs> It's a, it's a good upgrade. Yes. Like I said. 
as the actual product itself, I mean, it feels nice going from second to third. I mean, going from any gear, to be quite honest, felt a lot nicer than it did before. I don't feel as much, you know, movement. The whole, the whole car itself just feels a little bit sturdier now because, I mean, I already had the pitch stop. I already have newer engine mounts, so I really was just missing that transmission mount. And now just, like, minor shit, like, uh, well, not minor shit, but, you know, my wheel bearings, I need to do ball joints, and probably just get new axles or something at some point soon. For now, I'm just gonna head back home, like I said. I'm gonna take care of that rattling, and I'm probably gonna stream on Twitch if you guys wanna go ahead and follow me on there and watch me be bad at video games because I'm pretty bad at them. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be going over to Sam's shop, and we're gonna be tackling more of that quarter panel, just trying to get it to look nice and right. And after that, probably pulling out, you know, just like some dents, trying to just get the car to look nice because I have side skirts, I have bigger front fenders to throw on, and I do also have a, excuse me, I do also have an entire new rear bumper to throw on too, just to like accommodate the lights that we have, because if you guys remember, I had to cut this bumper. So we got some things to work on for the body, and I think we're gonna start tackling that tomorrow, and I'll take you guys along with me. So like I said, follow me on Twitch, I'll leave it down below in the in the link section, and also probably somewhere in like you know the bottom of the video. So you guys can just watch me play video games when I'm not doing car stuff. Did I almost just stall? I did. Am I worried about it? Thank you all for watching. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, 